What's up creators? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to shoot a product video at home using something simple as your iPhone so that you can take your mobile filming to the next level to create something like this. Roll that video. So Sandmark, a brand from California that specializes in photography products for iPhone, reached out to me and asked if I would want to join the Shot on iPhone challenge. I said, hell yeah, bro. Well, I didn't say it that way. But anyway, they hooked me up with their film edition lenses and ProLite to shoot an iPhone commercial with my iPhone X. Now I will be showing you the behind the scenes of how I created this video. We'll be looking at camera setup, camera settings, lighting, material, and movement. Now I don't have a studio, that is why I do most of my product video shoots at home. The challenge was to do an iPhone commercial and those commercials generally tend to use animations and 3D models. Now I'm not specialized in that, so I had to find a way to film and edit it like it would look in a real iPhone commercial. My goal was to achieve a sort of mixture between sci-fi and high-tech and I think it came out pretty well. So before we hop in, you'll find all the products in the video description below if you're interested. Let's first look at our camera setup. I use the iPhone X with the Filmic Pro app. I highly recommend using the app because this will give you full control over your camera. For the lens, I use the Telephoto Lens Edition by Sandmark that allows me to zoom in twice as much without any quality loss. This is important for showing off details of the product. You generally want to avoid digital, digitally zooming in with your iPhone since it will reduce the quality of your video. Make sure to clean the lens before you start filming. To keep the iPhone in place, I used a smartphone holder, which I got with the Sandmark film rig and mounted it on a tripod foot. This allows me to easily position the camera. To power my iPhone, I used a power bank because iPhones tend to use a lot of battery when shooting video. Let's now look at our camera settings. Most of the shots were taken in 4K 25 frames per second. 4K has more detail and allows me to crop in without losing any quality. As for the codec, I use the Filmic Extreme, which gives me the highest quality possible. For these shots, I use the 239 by 1 aspect ratio with the crop source overlay turned off. I recommend turning it off because it gives you the framing guide and records the full frame area outside the guides. In post, I can still add the letterbox to give it that wide cinematic look. Make sure to turn off image stabilization if you have your iPhone on a tripod. Make sure to lock your white balance in order to avoid color shifts. For the color picture, I used Log V2, which gives me the most dynamic range in my video. Next, you want to open up manual controls to adjust the ISO and shutter speed. Smartphones don't do well in low light situations because of their small sensor and tend to quickly produce noise. That's why I keep the ISO as low as possible and use external lights to adjust the brightness. Make sure to use the histogram to not over or under expose your image. My shutter speed is set to 1 over 50. That gives me that, I don't want to say it, but that cinematic look everybody's striving for. When it comes to focusing, you generally want the entire product to be in focus. Now on smartphones, you don't get a lot of shallow depth of field unless you have the object really close to the lens with as much distance between it and the background. For this video, I use the autofocus. I usually set the focus point and lock it afterwards. I find the autofocus on the Filmic Pro does a really great job. Now you can also manual control it by bringing up the sliders. For the material, I used a white acrylic background, which I thought would work well with the iPhone 11 Pro. Now it's important to use a glass cleaner with a microfiber cloth to get rid of stains and fingerprints. This can really be your best friend. What I also found useful was using an air blower to get rid of the dust. 
To make the iPhone 11 Pro stand, I mounted a holder at the very bottom of it. As for the lighting, what I did is I mounted the Aperture 120D on a C stand to get a soft top-down lighting. I attached a honeycomb grid to bring the object more in focus. Especially for the product shots, you want to use a big source of light to make the product look more appealing. I then darkened the room around it to have a more controlled lighting environment. Next up is movement. Now that we have everything set up, we can start making our product come to life. This is an experimental process where you have to try different things out. For a lot of shots, I used a wide motorized turntable. This was really helpful for having the product rotate smoothly. The revealing shot at the beginning was done using the ProLite by Sandmark. I darkened the entire room and moved the light with my hand to create those highlights, which really gave the product a dramatic effect. You can really play around with it and see what works. Now, I wanted to have a shot where the iPhone was levitating. For this effect, I filmed the iPhone that was laying on top of an object. I then removed the objects and filmed just the background, also known as a clean plate. In post, I overlapped both, masked the iPhone out, added shadow and motion to it. One of the more difficult shots was the water splashing effect. The first shot didn't work out because I wanted the water to splash upwards and not sideways. So I then placed the iPhone closer to the edge of the table, took the two glasses of water and simultaneously threw the water in the air. The results were pretty epic. This shot was obviously done in slow motion. The settings I used was 1080p at 240 frames per second. And if you're shooting with a higher frame rate, you need to add more light. So I added two tube lights to brighten up the image. As you can see, you don't need a studio space or spend a lot of money creating these type of videos. Just do it in your house with these simple equipments. The more you do it, the better you get at it. If this video helped you in any kind of way, leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. Once again, I would like to thank Sandmark for hooking me up with their awesome product. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. You would help me immensely. I upload videos every week and we are soon reaching 2,000 subscribers. So thank you for all of your support. If you want to learn more about mobile filming, I have two videos right here ready for you to watch. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.